Hello, good afternoon. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, get around through uh, Concrete by, which is the CMS that uh, the website is built on. So first you're going to go up here to your search bar, and you're going to go to your domain, and click on Login, or I'm sorry, type in your, your main domain, and then backslash. Uh, login. This will bring you to this screen. I will give you um, so a username and password, and you'll enter those in. You can stay signed in if you'd like. Mine's already saved because I've been working on the website. Then it will bring you to a welcome screen. Um, there will be just little bits you can read about if you want, or if you're like me, you just go straight over here to the dashboard. And then um, let me tell you a little bit about the dashboard. Here you'll find uh, it's basically your your menu. If you go to the site map, you click on that. It'll show you all the pages on your website. If um, you click the plus signs, it'll expand your menu a little bit more, and you can see all the uh, all the pages. When you click on a page, just left click like normal, you'll It'll bring up another menu. You can visit the page or go through any one of these other um, options. I'll let you explore that. If you have questions, I will uh, be happy to answer them. But for now, we're just going to visit the page. This will bring us to the home page. You'll notice up here you'll see a menu, which you don't see when you're not logged into the website. And um, I'm going to highlight things in in the edit mode you'll see them uh, they'll look a little different so when you come up here to the pencil icon if you hover over it it says edit this page so if you click on it and give it a sec it'll turn green and you'll know that you're in edit mode so whenever I hover over anything you'll see it highlighted in uh, in green here each of these represents another uh, a different block and uh, you'll notice that this slider goes into edit mode. It doesn't show it. There are a couple uh, different types of blocks that uh, that will uh, that'll look like that. They'll just basically be disabled. But um, let's say we're going to um, edit an existing block. So uh, for the slider, for example, if I click on the slider, it'll give me the option um, edit block copy to clipboard, delete, which we don't want to do right now. This is a live site. Um, and design and custom template. So for now, we're just going to edit the block. And in each different type of block, will give you a different menu. So this is an image slider block. So you'll see I've already created one slide here. You can edit the slide and change the words, uh, the title. I don't have anything in the description at the moment, so I left that uh, blank, and it doesn't go anywhere if you click on this. But say you wanted it, if somebody clicked on this image to go um, to another page, you would click that and choose a page, and it'll bring you back to that site map. You can go through and choose which site, or sorry, which uh, page you'd like it to link to. I'm not doing that at the moment because I had, I don't have it linking, but you would follow through and save it. Um, you'll, there'll be a lot of uh, content blocks. Content blocks are basically just where your text are included. So I click on a content block and hit edit. And um, this just looks like Microsoft Word or any other um, text editor. You have your uh, bold, all those um, options here. You can choose from uh, different formatting options and uh, here's your image. You can insert an image right here or a data table, etc. Your alignment. Um, if you know if you want to get into the HTML or something screwy and you just want to take a look at what's going on, why is it behaving like that, you can look here. Um, you have these uh, service times or using those H3 tags which are uh, a format. You can see paragraph and strong. Uh, anyway, um, I'm not going to go through all the HTML, but if you need to edit it, you can do that right there. 
in uh, source. And then after you make your edits, you save or cancel if you didn't do anything. And that's how you edit your edit block. I'm sorry, your content block. Um, Concrete 5 also gives you the option to drag and drop your blocks, which is, is pretty unique. So you can, uh, you can hover over your block. And uh, right here, you'll see this uh, little arrow icon. You can grab it. You hold your um, mouse down and you drag and you can drop it into any content area. So these two happen to be empty, but um, say I wanted to put it right here, right into that. It'll just drag and drop it. This would be empty now, and it's moved that entire content block over here. Okay. So now I'm going to grab it and drag it back where it was initially. So again, this is a live site. And uh, that's an easy way to move your things around. Now, um, you'll see here it says uh, local footer. Now, anything that says global, local means you only see it on that page. Um, let me move this out of the way so you can see. Right, uh, trying to find something that says global. <laughs> Anything that says global will be able to be seen on every single page. Global means throughout the entire site. I know here there's a site wide, so that they don't use global in this theme. They call it site wide. So anything that I would put in this block right here would show up on the entire site in the footer, not just on the home page. So be mindful if you're placing uh, or if you're moving your um, your blocks around to pay attention to uh, if it happens to say footer, or I'm sorry, local or site wide. Some of them don't say that, and if they don't say anything, you can assume that it is local and that it's only going to be on that one page. After you've made all your changes, you're going to come back up here to exit out of edit mode, and it'll bring up the option to publish your changes. Uh, save your changes or discard your changes. If you are needing approval from somebody else, um, say a treasurer is um, editing the page for some reason and you need approval of an admin or something like that, you can save the changes and they won't become live on the site. Only You only be able to see them when they're logged, when you are logged in. So uh, this one is still pending approval since I moved some things around even though I put them back it's still viewing those as changes so um, once the admin comes in they will be able to see this and if they approve um, whatever changes were made then they can approve the design uh, approve this version and then it'll become live um, I haven't made any changes here so let me Move something around again so that menu pops up. So now if I wanted to go ahead and publish these changes, I could just click publish and they'd be live immediately. However, say I have a blog post created and I don't want that to become live um, until a specific date, say two days from now when you know an event's supposed to take place or something like that, you can schedule when you would like this to become live. But uh, we don't need to do that right now, so we're just going to go ahead and publish our changes, even though they're really not changes. Um, if you want to click on the, this little cog button here, if you uh, go into Design, you click on Customize, You'll see you have a lot of options here to change colors. You can play around. Um, just remember what they were if you decide you want to go put them back. But this theme has a lot of options. <laughs> Notice I keep scrolling. And if you have any advanced CSS, you would click here and it would give you a box to enter in your advanced CSS but uh, or your custom CSS. But we're not doing it at the moment. So if you had made your changes, 
then uh, you would click save and they would be applied throughout the site. This menu also gives you um, attributes. Say um, you created a new page, but uh, you want to add some keywords, some meta keywords. You would click this, and it would uh, it insert the um, this box here for you to be able to add those and save them. Looks like they need to change the description on this page, but uh, this is where you would add the description and any other one of these attributes. You can scroll through the list. Probably won't have to use that too often, but if you do, that's where it is. Now, if I want to go back to the sitemap, And I'll visit um, here. We'll visit our pastor page. This is just like the home page, but it just has different content. So I went and clicked on edit, and you see how everything is highlighting green. This is all one text box. I had inserted an image within this. It's pretty hard to read if you don't uh, read HTML over the time, but you can see here that this is this is uh, just one content block. It's not actually an image and content. I did that because I like the way that the uh, the text falls along the image. But say I wanted to uh, change the background of where all the text is. Now, I haven't tested this, so it might look a little crazy. But you'll click on um, your text box, and instead of going to Edit Block, we're going to Design and Custom Template, and it'll bring up another menu up here. This is where you can change the text color, the link color, if you want everything to be aligned to the left or right. Um, your background, all these, um, these are actually CSS options, but they give you a nice little uh, graphic inter user interface so that you can just uh, select things without having to write out the code. So I want to change the background color. Right now it's transparent. Say I want to make it uh, a bright red. I would choose red, save it. And voila, <laughs> red, but we certainly don't want to say that. So we're going to go back in there and remove that so it goes back to the way it was. But that just gives you a little more uh, creativity. You can change things around. Um, let's see. Now if we go back to this main menu again and say you want to go into systems and settings, there's even more options. <laughs> you can change your social your social links. I believe right now this one only has Facebook, but uh, say you got an Instagram account or Twitter, you would enter them in there. Or you change the site name, that would be in here. There are just so many options. If your site isn't behaving as it should, sometimes you need to clear the cache. You could do that here. Um, but uh, should you need to, to do anything here that you're not comfortable doing on your own, feel free to contact me and I'm happy to help and guide you through it or do it myself. There's the event calendar here. I guess I should visit that page first. Let's see, information. Under information, um, there's an events page. We're going to visit that. And you can see um, this calendar is populated with events that I've entered. And you can scroll through it. We don't have that many events entered at this time, but uh, this is where everything will eventually lay out. But to add those events, 
click on it gives me a little bit more information but to add those events you're going to go back to this menu go to the event calendar and this isn't the best um, it, it's not the most user friendly I found but um, hopefully I can walk you through it I have a, a, a calendar called a MBC calendar of events so this is the entire calendars name now if you want a list of things that are already created go back to oh, show events I'm sorry here it is show events it's going to show everything that's already been created but say we're just ready to add an event you click on that you're going to put in a title and you're going to probably keep this the same unless you decide to create several calendars in which case you would uh, create a new calendar and select it from the drop down now if you want a description instead of um, uh, for your event instead of your page going directly to uh, some other page that has all the information the URL is where you would enter right here say I just wanted it to go straight to another page instead of having a description that's what you would do here but for most of the ones I have on this calendar I have descriptions so you're just gonna fall, go through put your start and end date I don't really choose a color, I keep them all the same since there's only one calendar. Edit your description and when you do that you click add the event. And it should be added um, just like all the rest. But I wanted to be sure you knew how to get to that through this uh, event calendar link in the menu. Other than that, oh I'm sorry, one more thing. Member, say you want to give some other uh, member of the church access to help keep uh, the website up to date currently I'm the only user but uh, once I figure out who all needs access I'm going to come in here it auto populates my name but I'll create a username and a password and an email address and um, select these options if appropriate and then I'm going to add and then when you go back to the login screen, you have created a user who can log into the website and add um, content or, uh, um, edit or uh, approve things as needed to. But uh, we're not doing that at this moment. We're going to go on out of here. But there are all kinds of options for members as well. Um, this is the basics of how to get through Concrete 5 and edit your content. If you need any help with anything else, feel free to contact me. Um, you can probably easiest, most easily, easy, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't talk. You can reach me via email at holly, H-O-L-L-Y dot McCarthy, M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y at D-B-I-S-P-L-L-C dot com, and I'd be happy to help you. Let me know if you need help or have any questions. Thank you.